You've been gone uh, with the U.S. national team. What's it like to be back, and how do you transition uh, with the other U.S. national team players to now suddenly having a game for the Thorns on Saturday? Um, I mean, it's awesome to be back. Uh, we had, you know, a meeting today before practice, and it was just cool to kind of hear about what the team's been doing and, and kind of the vibe and the mission of this season and just, you know, get back in with the group. And I think it'll be great to have a few days of practice and hopefully get as integrated as we can. And the good thing is we already know, you know, so many of the girls on the team and, you know, have a good relationship with Paul. Um, so I think it's just, you know, filling our roles this year and, uh, yeah, just getting integrated as, we, as fast as we can. How many games will uh, you guys be here for? Uh, at least three, yeah. Um, and have you been in a, a been with the U.S. national team obviously for a while? Have you have you done this before? Kind of having to transit balance World Cup with the club before? Yes, 2011. We we did a similar type of um, structure. The World Cup was a little bit later at that time, so we had a few more games with our club team. But that's because of the timing of everything. But yeah, it's it's definitely tough to bounce back and forth. Um, but I think that's part of our job as professionals, and you know, um, and, and I think both environments you know contribute to each other as well. Uh, what are you looking forward to in the game? What's kind of the goal? It's obviously going to be a weird year for the Thorns, but what's kind of the goal for the team um, in this first game and then for the season? Um, you know, I think the goal is obviously to go out there. Um, build on what the team's been working on in preseason, uh, put on a good performance, and win the game. Uh, the fan support for the Thorns has been um, definitely the standout of the NWSL the last four, uh, few years, and third season's been a big season for women's soccer in the past. Um, what are you expecting? Do you expect to see the same fan numbers out again this year for the Thorns? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think so. I wouldn't be surprised if it's even more. You know, Portland never ceases to amaze me, and I think our fan base just continues to grow, and it's just such an amazing city. And I think the good thing is um, the league seems strong overall, and I uh, am excited to see, you know, how other cities do as well. You guys last year had uh, some interesting performances, up and down performances against Boston's specifically yeah um, <laughs> yeah how do you kind of especially with all the in and out coming in and out and stuff try to have more consistent performances and do well against them this weekend um you know I think that uh, we just have to face you know Boston as we would face any game uh, prepare as much as possible um, you know just do our best out there on the field and try to be as united as possible and uh, for, from the U.S. side, you guys have been some good performances recently. Um, do you feel like the team's coming together before the World Cup, and is it kind of the right time for everything to be clicking? Yeah, definitely. It really seems like things are kind of coming together at the right time. I think Algarve was a really important tournament for us, and we um, started to you know, really get on the same page and put some good performances together. And then this New Zealand game as well, I think the team played um, very well. So it's good to have that all coming together around the right time. Is it nice to be able to be playing uh, the World Cup in Canada, obviously same time zone as the U.S. and everything? Yeah, I think so. I mean, it's definitely great for family members and, you know, people in the U.S. that are watching the games. I think it'll um, be more accessible to people and uh, will just generate even more excitement in the U.S. And obviously it's the U.S.'s team to win. Um, how big would that be if you guys could just for women's soccer? I think it would be huge. Um, you know, we've been so close so many times in the past years, and we saw what happened in 99 when the team won. And I think, you know, even in 2011 when we almost won, it was huge for the growth of women's soccer um, in our country. And I think that if we were able to win, it would it would just be amazing. And I think it would really help the league as well. And just uh, people would, you know, know about it that are soccer fans as well. And that's always great to extend our fan base. Great.